Hey, it's Richard with Matthews Wealth Management, uh, November 2023, M2 Money Supply and Balance Sheet. I'm going to warn you, this one's weird. Um, you know how I hate revisions? Well, it, this isn't revised. This is just missing money. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how this works out. So uh, we'll go quickly through the money supply. It's all the same. Actually, it kind of, you remember the bump and then the drop, right? So BTFP, which is actually highest it's ever been. Uh, these banks are still needing to borrow to cover their interest rate risk loss on the bonds that they're holding in their uh, capital requirements because nobody knows how to manage bonds apparently anymore. Um, whatever, all that's kind of what. Uh, so here's, here's where we are, 20.725.6 trillion. Um, whatever, that's, that's down 0.14. It's a good thing. That's what's black. Okay, whatever. 34% increase since since COVID, right? So uh, all of that is inflation, okay? Um, however, the reason we're seeing CPI and PPI and, and all these other inflation metrics start to compress and come back down to still high numbers, by the way, I know uh, today the, the CPI came out and people are saying, oh, inflation's down. Yeah, but it's still inflation. <laughs> it's not like prices are back down. There's zero deflation, right? I'm for deflation. Uh, that would bring costs back up to, or back down to where people could afford it. Um, check out the next video that we're going to do about middle class. But anyway, um, still got a lot of inflation, right? And it's still growing, right? What's, what's coming out into prices is still increasing, but the actual money supply is contracting, which is what's holding that down as the government continues to deficit spend, which is the problem. So whatever, there's a money supply balance sheet. Okay. So, wow, that's cool right? They're selling off. So <laughs> something's up. This is where it gets weird. All right, we'll, we'll zoom in. Okay, so BTFP. Okay, great. Um, look at these numbers. All right, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but 7.796 trillion. Okay. Last month, there was 7.907 trillion, which says that, okay, they sold off 1.41% of their balance sheet, which, you know, in a normal month, would be like, yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So Great, but wait, how did that just jump to 8% if we just did a 1% on this month? Because I know y'all don't memorize these numbers. Um, I don't memorize them, but I recognize them very quickly. That's not what it was a month ago. Uh, <laughs> we're missing $213 billion that came off of the balance sheet, but was never reported. So I'll, I'll prove it. I, uh, I keep all of this stuff. Oh, there's my background. Uh, yes, I race cars. But uh, back to October, and then let me go to the slideshow here. And we'll do from current slide. 8.121 in October. Not that 7.9. Somebody figure that out. I mean, because, like, this stuff's public, right? And, and like, <laughs> I'm a pretty meticulous person. I know how to research this stuff. I know how to find these numbers. I've been doing this for years. And somehow, remember we were 4.5% year to date in October. Now we're eight. Cool, I guess, right? Because that came off of the balance sheet. But somebody explain it to me. Um, YouTube comments, explain it to me. Nobody watches these on YouTube. Um, it's the other videos that people watch on YouTube. But all right, let's go back to the November one so I could just finish out this video and then jump to the, the middle class one, uh, which I'm excited about. All right, not from the beginning. Let me get back to where I was. Okay, so yeah, that 8.36 and 7.9, right? So it's like $213 billion that's missing uh, over the last two months. Um, we see where that went, came from. But anyway, I, that, 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 was, that struck me as amazing that we're down to 7.7 .7 that quickly. Um, still 86% increase since COVID, which makes no sense. I don't know why we do that. So let's look at the numbers on how this all works out balance sheet, they sold off $111 billion. And I'm just factoring that on what they've reported on the month, not on what's missing, right? So just the no we're back to a normal video. $111 billion was, uh, was sold off the balance sheet. Uh, money supply contracted by $30 billion, roughly. And so that means that <laughs> Congress continued to spend $82 billion more than they bring in. Um, and it's not even the more than that's the problem, right? Like, like 
In good times, you should have surplus, right? It's Bidenomics. Everything's great. Where's their surplus? There is none. In fact, government spending period is the problem because it monopolizes resources from the economy that we know how to use efficiently, right? Waste, fraud, and abuse and uh, government bureaucracy. Go to the DMV. Talk to the Social Security office. These people are terrible at their job. They don't care. And that's where we send all of our money. And that's who takes all of our resources. And this is what we're left with is high prices and a bunch of crap. Anyway. There's the soapbox. I'm going to jump to the middle, middle class thing while I'm kind of in this mindset. But uh, somebody find that missing $113 billion. That'd be awesome. Anyway, uh, see you next year in 2024.